So before we can actually deploy our web app, we need to have a basic understanding of the folder structure that the app broker depends upon. You can see it right here, and I'll go over it in, in detail in the PowerPoint that's in the background. We basically have three main folders, exec, public, skeleton. That app broker exe is actually the exe that runs as a service, so we don't interact with that directly by running it. It's already in the background running. And this one, importantly, is the App Broker Service Manager, which we will go into in another video. So let's pop over to the PowerPoint and talk about what we have. So exec, as I said, is where we place our executables. We create a subfolder under them for each of our web apps, or if we have web apps that share common DLLs, we can put them all into the same subfolder. And we put all of our binaries there, XEs, DLLs, and any external images. External images would be files that do not get linked into your binaries. So they're not resources embedded within it, and they are accessed by your program externally. The public folder, second folder we had in our list, is where we will copy the generated uh, your app name, underscore global.js. That's the shared JavaScript that every page in your application uses. And the benefit is that it can be cached by the browser and reused. And finally, we have the skeleton folder. This folder contains a special HTM files that control the UI. And they are a combination of HTML code and TS script. So these are the three folders that the App Broker uses to serve up your apps, as I said, exec, public, skeleton. You deploy your apps into a folder that you create under the exec folder. The public folder is used by the App Broker. It, whenever someone attaches and runs your web app, a temporary dynamic folder is created and the pages that actually are served up to that user created in that temporary folder. There are other uh, aspects of the public folder and in particular that is where your bootstrap files live, all your CSS, any custom CSS, the fonts that are used by your web app and all your shared JavaScript code. In addition, again, that is where you deploy the generated, by the templates, your app underscore global.js. The skeleton folder, again, holds the special HCM files that are used to transform your window structure into a web page. And it enables the communication from the web page to your Clarion native code so that your business logic uh, is executed when your end user interacts with the web page. And so you probably have a good understanding, a fair understanding of the app broker structure, so you're almost ready to deploy your app for the web. But first you need to verify the app broker configuration settings, and we'll do that in the next video.